production Irving crew back with us on uh, I guess Facebook Live. How's it going, guys? Hey, great, great, great. Thanks for having us. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, we were just talking. Fred and I we had been talking. We're like, you know, it's been a few months since we had done our last Facebook Live and, and chat with you guys. And you were just sort of kicking off your your partnership in the real estate business. And we thought well, it'd be kind of cool to kind of check in with you guys, see what's been going on over the last few months and just sort of touch base. So I, I'm going to let you guys start. Like, tell me wh what's happened since the last time we talked. Everything and everything and anything. You know, I mean, I think what we when we first partnered together, we we decided, you know, what are the best systems that to work with, and so that was really our first plan of attack is to figure out what to use. You know, there's so many different tools out there, and uh, so we tried everything and anything, and. Yeah, you know, we had things through our board that were free, and then we had obviously KV Core, and we had, I think we were, at one time we were using four different CRMs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not exaggerating. And uh, we finally pared it down to using KV Core. But uh, yeah, I mean, she's right. We tried everything and anything. There was a lot of uh, trial and error, absolutely. But we feel like we've got it ironed out now. And, uh, you know, one of the, the 12 commandments that we use that's on our board that we see every single day is, to become experts at, at three things from a marketing perspective and then just go out and kill it with those three things and try not to be all things to all people. And uh, we feel like we're on our way with that. And you know, uh, Katie Core has been huge and the, and the training that EXP has provided to help us figure that out has been key. So we're very happy. That's awesome. Well, hey, I'm just gonna say it for you guys. You aren't new to the real estate mortgage industry, but this is a new partnership and in under six months, you guys have already put seven transactions in escrow under contract, uh, working on number eight today as we speak in a season and time in the real estate industry where most people would tell you it's slow. You guys have launched a brand new partnership and business. And I'm just sitting back here amazed, impressed, um, taking no credit whatsoever, but incredibly <laughs> proud and honored to, to just, you know, be associated with you at some level. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, not really, in a way, not at all surprised. Um, I know, like, uh, specifically, I remember we sat down together for dinner in New Orleans, right, uh, towards the end of last year, basically right after the state of Michigan made uh, a crazy decision to give you a real estate license, Bill. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, now, Kristen getting one, we totally get it. She's saying she's got a good head on her shoulders. and But you, we were like, oh, man, they're, they're really handing them out there in Michigan. But I never, <laughs> we sat down at that dinner and I remember us talking about, hey, here's here's the different plays you're going to, you know, that you could run in the first, you know, six months to a year of your real estate partnership and, and business and selling real estate. And you you guys were like, yes, this is the plan. We're going to go and we're going to run with it. And so I, I know that we had a clear plan. I know that you were you guys were really dialed in on what you were going to go do. Uh, and so I'm not at all surprised to hear that you have the type of results that you have that I think most people would, would kill to have in their first four or five, six months in the real estate business. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's funny how you set goals for yourself and then you, you attain those goals and then you have to be set new goals. Mm -hmm. So when we started, it's called January 1, and we said for this year, what do we want to do? What do we want to accomplish? Kind of in our rookie year. And we said, if we can do 20 transactions, that would be phenomenal. And now we're at basically eight in March. And we're like, if we do 20 transactions, we're total losers. <laughs> I mean, now we're, now we're shooting for 50 transactions and because you got to keep upping that goal. And, uh, and we're so excited to just be in this and, you know, you can't listen to what's going on around you. You know, I mean, this business is a very personal business and we go out every day and we meet people and, you know, you got to have energy. And I know that's one thing you guys said you loved about us is that, you know, we're like, a breath of fresh air because we're like just so excited and so happy and everything like that. We're not kind of these grizzled Down. veterans that are just like, eh, it's a job, <laughs> you know. You guys are really having fun, right? Like this isn't fake, right? Like you guys didn't wake up saying, oh man, we got to go on Facebook Live and pretend like we're enjoying this right now. Like you guys legitimately yeah. are having fun, are you not? This is a blast. I mean, if you've seen any of our Irvin team videos, because we do a, a one minute video every single day. And you saw me making snow angels out in the snow in my snowmobile suit. Uh, you see me um, fighting my Great Dane uh, dog during a conversation. Uh, yes, I mean, we are having more fun than we really should be allowed to have. 
because one thing that I love about EXP is they let you be your own brand. And, you know, our brand is, is the Urban Team. And, uh, and we go out every day and we talk about the Urban Team. And, and you know, I put together great marketing pieces and, and we're doing different printouts and, and sending out uh, postcard campaigns about every two weeks. And uh, so we're a fully operational um, company all within our, our little office here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we love about it. But uh, the only thing I think we're struggling with right now, as should be expected, is our work-life balance. Um, we are just work, 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 work. Yeah. Fortunately, we're married to each other. So, I mean, it's not like I'm not spending enough time with my spouse, maybe too much time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but you're yeah. getting paid for it at least. But we're getting paid, yes. To be <laughs> good, good, good call. All right, so breaking news, you're, you're still together, not, not only right. as business partners, but still married. Yep, 28 years and counting, so. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. So you guys are starting to like each other a little bit, thinking you might stick yeah. one out? Well, we have, we have our occasional <laughs> blow up, I will say, uh, since we're five feet apart, you know, 24 hours a day. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I would say some of the things that, that we feel we've, that have really brought us our success is uh, our three marketing campaigns or ideas are, number one is the one-minute uh, Facebook video every single day. And then Kristen does a boost out to targeted markets within our area. The second thing is that we do a direct mail campaign to our sphere and to our 500 people within our geographic farm. Uh, we use EDDM, which is an extremely economical way to, uh, to do things. And just to kind of show you what we've sent out is something like, uh, whoa, there we go. So this is like a just old postcard. It's six by nine, so it's pretty huge. And then you've got these really, uh, really ugly people on the back. So constantly trying to establish the, you know, the brand. Same thing. So this is our, you know, uh, another sold card that we send out to people. Um, so that has been an economic. Mm -hmm. and, and also we have a printer down the street that actually can do the whole thing in a day. So I go pick it up, send it, and take it right to the post office, and it's in people's hands the next day. So if you think, oh gosh, it's going to take me two weeks. And then it's going to go through the postal service and it's going to take another couple of days. I mean, I can literally have a campaign built and out next day. And wow. uh, that has made a huge difference for mm -hmm. us. And it's, you know, the, the mailing costs uh, 17 cents a card compared to 55 cents. And I can get a thousand of them printed for $139. So you're talking about, you know, 300 bucks to get out to a thousand people next day or the day after. And so we feel like that's going to be a huge part of our of our ongoing momentum as a team as we continue onward. Honestly, we haven't seen a lot of action from that yet, but we have had people calling us and saying, we love your postcards. They're so cool. I'll keep doing it. You know, I can't believe you sold another house. And so there's definitely a lot of great momentum. And then the uh, the last thing that we do is uh, an email campaign through KV Core. So we built some campaigns, number one for uh, prospective sellers, another one for our uh, our sphere and then another one for a, a farm that we developed out of remind which i don't know if you've heard of that product mm -hmm. but it's a great product you know, we found people in our area who've owned their home for over seven years who have uh, at least a hundred thousand dollars in equity in their property and you know have a, a higher chance than most of possibly moving and so we've targeted about a thousand people that we're also doing direct mail email every month um so but again that's a lot of things but that's it we don't do anything else and so that's what we're trying to do from a marketing perspective. So we get up every day and we know what we got to do. You know, make your calls, get your mailings out, do your emails, mm -hmm. and sell, sell, sell. Well, and the KV, KV Core has great um, has great tools for doing um, marketing campaigns on Facebook and things like that, like squeeze pages. So we'll work with those tools. Um, we do do some for sale by owner um, campaigns and and calling people too. You know, it's a great way to you know just try and get some leads from people who come and visit. If you put a squeeze page together of, you know, properties available, find your value, uh, you know, in Oakland County or whatever, and people will land on that, look at that, and then they'll want more information. So that's a great tool to use too. We also have a local lady who bakes cookies with the Urban Team logo that are absolutely fantastic. So we deliver yeah. them. Uh, and we also um, have a really cool for sale by owner technique where we make a postcard. We send out a postcard with a quarter of the postcard uh, the first day and then half the second day and then by the fourth day they get the full postcard with our team on it our photos that says bill and kristen can sell your home in uh in less time because we take our business as seriously as we did in mailing these postcards and then we show up at their door that night with our cookies 
<laughs> and uh, and close them. So that's what I like to hear. I would sign. I mean, my goodness, four postcards. You bring me cookies. Like I'd be just be done at the cookies. So. Who, who can say? I know you can. Oh no, no I can't say no yeah. cookies. Oh, I got we'll play some of those cookies on the last day though. On the fourth day, they've got these postcards for four days. Like it's so weird. It's like the first day, it's just a quarter of a card. It's like this must be a mistake. Like what is this? There's nothing even on it really. And by the fourth day, they're like, oh, it's you guys. You know, so it's it's kind of a cool way to do it. I mean, for sale by owners, as we know. Have a huge defense mechanism built in against realtors you know all they hear about is, is calls 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 and no one kind of is creative in how they approach it so that's what we're trying to do wow love it man man this is incredible i am just like so excited listening to you guys like hearing you guys talk about squeeze pages and this and that and then reflecting back to six months ago the questions you guys were asking like you're teaching me stuff now and it's so awesome to hear you guys do it it's so much fun yeah, we're having a blast. We actually, uh, so we we got a deal closed last night with a fellow EXP agent, and um, and he had actually he had heard of of me and my dad from years ago. And uh, I'm not saying we put it together because of that, but it didn't hurt. Um, but it was great to be able to work with another EXP agent. Um, you know, kind of getting away from that who's EXP to kind of you see signs all over the place, and that's that's making us feel really good about our decision. That's awesome. How how's that decision been for you guys? I mean, I'm I'm sure it doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna say this: you guys were gonna be successful no matter yeah. where you went. Um, so let's get that out of the way, right? Not asking you to give your success away to Kevin or myself or EXP or anybody for that matter. But how's the experience been? I'm sure there's a lot of people that were like, you know, hey, as a new agent, that's a terrible place to to start your real estate career. There'll be nobody to support you. You won't see anybody. Like, I guess maybe just tell us how that experience has been so far. Well, we were, yeah, we were definitely told that exact thing by a number of people that I really respected and that are friends of mine around the community or around the, the country. And um, I feel like we've had great support. I feel like we've had great training. Um, I've never worked for any company, real estate or mortgage or anything, where you can get on online and be with a tech support person within two minutes, yeah. three minutes. That's an actual human being that says, hey, Bill, how you doing? What can I help you with? There's no email. There's no, you know, going through a labyrinth of phone, you know, things to press this button and then sit on. I mean, that is something I, I have never seen before in any industry I've been a part of. And so that kind of on demand support and, and basically the way to answer your questions, no matter what your question is, has been amazing. Um, that's the thing that I think I, I appreciate the most about the technology that, that EXP offers. Um, also, I mean, honestly, I like the split a lot. Um, <laughs> And uh, it's funny, our first check, I was like, wait a minute, what's this like $400 that's missing? I was like, oh, wait, we just bought stock for 20% below the, the market price. And I was like, that's right. It's like, that's good. It's a good yeah. thing. <laughs> I was like, did Fred and Kevin take some of our money? <laughs> well, can I just say something too? And I know this is really important to agents too, um, is getting paid is very easy and very clear. You know, mm. as soon as, you even before uh you know the whole everything is closed you get a statement that explains everything it shows where the money is going to be you know how it's going to get get to you and get to your account and then within a day or two everything was wired directly to our account so no issues with that which is important you know so yeah and then like a minor thing you know we set up a business account but then we had the money going into our personal account so kristen got in touch and, and within a minute they were like okay you're all set and yep, they, they, they switched swap it over way. yeah no problem and um Sometimes that could be a big deal. And when you're getting paid, that's really important. Mm -hmm. it, it is really important. And uh, I want to just say it's, you know, the, the examples that you guys just gave about the support, that's kind of the kind of stuff that I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's really hard to duplicate that when you've got physical walls, right? You actually have brick and mortar. But once you remove that, once you remove the physical boundaries and the and the actual brick and mortar, it makes it possible to have that sort of on-demand support. You got your your tech questions answered, like you said, from problem to being helped in two minutes, uh, from, oh, oh, no, this is going to the wrong account, to I need to have it to a different account in just a couple of minutes as well. I mean, some of us can't even walk down the hallway in our physical office and get help that fast, even if the person is there and quote unquote available, right? Because yeah. they're in front of their computer answering emails or on the phone. So to hear that, the fact, the fact that you could have that high level of support really with those two widely different topics. I mean, that's cool. You just yeah. can't have that 
without this sort of without this virtual model? I think people kind of miss sometimes that EXP is now 17,000 agents, but there's over 400 staff that are available in yeah. the EXP world. And as you mentioned, Bill, like they're there 11 hours a day, Monday through Friday. So it's seven o'clock Eastern after you guys are finishing dinner or, or going into your second work phase for the day, whatever that looks like, you guys can still go into EXP world and get support and help. Like you just can't get that at another brokerage, right? So I just think that's pretty awesome. And I think the other thing to, to mention is, you know, kind of the, who's the expert? So if I'm in an office and it's a great office, you know, they've got a hundred agents and they've got great support staff. It's always, who's the expert? So I have a question. Oh, well go ask Mary. Oh wait, Mary's off today. Um, Send her an email and she's great. She'll get back to you. Um, you know, the, the, there is there are good systems in place, but you can talk to an expert about anything at almost any time. And it's not you're not relying on one person in the office to be able to answer that question for you or getting bounced around from. No, I don't I don't know that you should go ask John. And oh, John, John I, I don't know that is that you will find an answer. You might go to the wrong department and they say, actually, that's not me. You've got to talk to so and so. And then you'll virtually get in line somewhere else. And then within a minute or two, you'll be talking to the person who is the expert and who can answer the question. So you think of the level of frustration that we all have in trying to get answers to things um, in our professional lives. And you can spend an entire day just trying to get the answer to something that's very important for either you or for a client. Um, they just completely take that away and, and make it simple. Yeah, it's so cool. You know, a friend of ours, uh, Ellie, who just joined the company, uh, in Oregon, she, I remember when she first reached out to me to ask about the company and her biggest concern was support and help. And I said, you know, it's funny that it's literally uh, the opposite. It's, it's I've never received this kind of support and this help before. And she literally, she just couldn't wrap her mind around it at first. Yeah. Now that she's experienced it, she sees that too, like you do. Um, but I think that's something that's natural for a lot of people as they go out. Oh, wait, there's probably less support there. And then you realize there's actually a whole lot more support than what you can have in a physical office. Yeah, and the broker support is incredible. A lot of yeah. times people go, well, if I don't have that office to walk down the hall and knock on my broker's door, how will I get a hold of them? And it's like, well, you send them a message through workplace, you text them, you give them a call. Like, And it's not just one person, typically. There's a team of people in every state that are there supporting. So that broker you know, that might be the designated broker in a state can actually take a little bit of time off on the weekends, but there's somebody else on staff that's there to answer questions. So I don't know if that's been your guys' experience, but I've gotten broker support on Sunday mornings. I've gotten broker support yeah. on Wednesday nights. I've found the broker support along with all the other EXP support to be really, really incredible. I think what happens uh, is you forget what day it is when you're asking questions, whether it's Sunday <laughs> or Sunday night or Wednesday night or whatever, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's Wednesday or it's Sunday night. Are they going to even be able to answer you? Like you, you don't even think about it because you're working all the time and then you answer and you're blown away. You're like, oh, thank God, you know, because it's an important question. So yeah, yeah. that is our experience too. That's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. One, one other thing I wanted to share is you guys have already started to receive a, a decent amount of referral business, right? I mean, you guys are getting the wheels cranking, you're prospecting, you're out there working FISBOs, you're sending mailers and then I think there's been a, a decent amount of referrals that have sort of found their way over to you. So I'm sure there's some people listening that, uh, you know, would like to know how they can send these amazing people right here some referrals. So tell us where you are again. Uh, well, we're in, in all of Southeast Michigan, basically covering anywhere in the Detroit area. Uh, I'd say we specialize in Oakland County. Um, but uh, that's Wayne, Washington. Yeah. But um, yeah, we cover a very large area, probably all the way out to Ann Arbor and all the way to Detroit. So uh yeah, we um, and we've talked to a couple of agents already. Uh, sent us some referral business, uh, uh, fellow EXP agents. Uh, so we are working on one right now in Canton, Michigan, um, and uh, we've sent a couple of referrals out to other people ourselves. So uh, it's been it's been really great. I actually sent a referral out to a commercial agent at EXP. Um, and uh, the funny thing about I love about the referral um, on workplace is it's like a bunch of piranhas in the water. You're like, I'm looking for a you know, person in Oshawa, Texas. And it's like four people are like, I live there. Are you kidding me? Like, I just like, oh my God, like they're everywhere. It's, it's really incredible. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Uh, it's like, I mean, I also feel like, aren't these people out like doing their own prospect? Or they're sitting here waiting all day long for the- uh, <laughs> they're, waiting for the they're, waiting, they're waiting for the referral, man. They're waiting, they're just like, they know it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Um, well, you know, okay, so this, this, uh, you guys sound very comfortable. You're very clear on what you're doing. You know, you talked about your 12 commandments and your three marketing principles that you're going out every day. So do me a favor, think back to 
five, six months ago, because I, I can guarantee you there's a new or newer agent listening to this uh, to this broadcast right now there and they're nervous and they're probably feeling the same thing you were feeling five, six months ago as you were really starting this journey. Um, what advice do you have for that person uh, who's where you were five or six months ago? Well, number one, I think, and this is easy to say and hard to do for many people, but you got to spend money. You have got to spend money. You've got to invest in your business and invest in yourself. Um, we did that um, and, and took some risks, but that was something that, that really has paid off for us as far as putting together an infrastructure, putting together marketing, um, just all the different things that we have in place today that we needed to spend some money. Um, I think that some people struggle because they come to this industry and think, you know, I'm just going to scratch and claw and try and figure out a way to, to make it happen. So, you know, we kind of officially, well, I, I literally passed my test on October 15th. We got our first listing on December 5th. So between the, you know, putting everything together, but I think it's really easy to get discouraged. This is a real estate agent. This has nothing to do with EXP. But if you are just entering this industry, yeah. it's really, really easy to get discouraged very quickly. You put a you know, maximum effort and you really don't see results for a pretty cons a considerable amount of time. And so my advice would be to invest in yourself, go out and give it your all. And, you know, part of our 12 commandments is, number, is also is work your butt off. And if you're not willing to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week, then this is, this is not a hobby. This is not a part time job. Um, and then the second thing is no fear. And a great quote that my brother sent me, he said, everything you want is on the other side of fear. And just don't be afraid to fail. And we've all failed more than we've succeeded in our lives. And uh, do not be afraid of failure. Just get up every day and just go out there and just do it. And can I also say that, you know, um, rely on your sphere more than anything because they know you already. You know, you can, it's it's good to cold call. It's good to, um, you know, knock on for sale by owner doors and knock on other doors. But, um, you know, your sphere knows you. Uh, they trust you. They, you know, know you're reliable. So I would say don't, don't be afraid to, you know, ask people or call people that, you know, and just say, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? And, and catch up with them. And then, oh, by the way, you know, this is what I'm up to. And if you know anybody that's looking to sell or buy, you know, from, you know, you can take, just take it from there. But go into your phone and, and talk, you know, find people you haven't talked to in a while and just catch up and, and let people know what you're doing. To talk about one failure. So, you know, it's always great to, to learn from our failures. I started off by calling people and saying, hey, I'm in the real estate industry now. Do you know anyone who's looking to buy or sell real estate? I mean, literally. Mm -hmm. And then I realized you're an idiot. Because <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. Yep. So then I realized or we, we learned this acronym called FORD. I'm sure you guys have heard of, of it before. But, you know, yeah, family, occupation, recreation, and, and dreams. And if you start talking to people about those things, it's always going to come up. They're going to say, by the way, what are you doing right now, Kevin? You say, it's interesting you ask because I'm selling real estate now. But um, I would just say calm down if you're new. <laughs> and don't jam real estate down people's throats because they really don't like it. It's almost like a deterrent, like spraying, like some kind of a uh, you know anti-real estate thing. So just uh, call your friends, call your family and find out what they're doing. Catch up with people you haven't talked to in a long time. That's how we found, we found a deal. Called a buddy of mine. I was like, what's up, man? What are you doing? And he said, hey, I heard you're in real estate. I said, yeah. He goes, my mom wants to sell her house. Give her a call. And boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And it had nothing to do with real estate. I was just catching up and never even brought it up. And so that's that's my really my probably my biggest advice is don't sell real estate. Just talk to people you know and who like you already. Mm -hmm. Such a relationship game, right? Yeah. That's really awesome to hear you guys yeah. saying that. I just want to add one thing on your first point about invest into your business. I think the thing that I've learned from you guys is you've invested in the right things. Like you, you briefly mentioned we were running four CRMs databases, <laughs> right? And then we said, you know what? We get this awesome database through EXP called KV Core. Sure, maybe there's a better one out there we could spend $1,500 a month for, but this one's pretty dang good and we're already paying for it and we're not paying very much for it. So what could we do with all that other money, right? And so it, it's, it's not just investing in the business, but it's investing in the right things. 
and, and making sure that you're not trying to invest in everything. So that's the other thing I picked up from you here today and I picked up over the last couple months is you're clear on your couple step marketing plan. You're clear on where you're going to spend money and where you're not. And then you're clear on how to pick up the phone and build those relationships and not make it all about you, but rather make it more about them. And then guess who in the end is winning? They're winning because there's a relationship built there. You're winning because they want to know what you're up to. They want to help you. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's working for you guys. And it's so fun to watch and see. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know you're doing nothing at least by the end of the year and honor your 50th closing. That's going to be fun. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's the plan. Hopefully we'll uh, be looking at higher a higher uh, peak than that by that time. But um, yeah, that's the last thing too is just about that, about the spending money too, is that, you know, have a budget and we tried things that didn't work. Um, tried them for, you know, 30 days, 60 days. And then we cut it loose. Mm -hmm. And you guys told us, you warned us in advance. I was like, what do you think about Zillow? And what do you think about buying these leads? And what do you think about this? And you guys are always saying like, hey, you know, some people like it. For us, it just really hasn't worked very well. And we found that um, buying those leads are more times than not, um, not worth it. And so we were able to drop those off pretty quickly and invest in other areas. And it's different for everybody. But I mean, that's one thing we learned. It is. But what I like with your approach, what I've seen you guys are doing is number one, you're interacting with your sphere. So that's something you can control. You control when you pick up the phone yep. versus Zillow. You're waiting for the phone to ring or them to send you a lead. And then even though you are sending out mailers like your FISBO campaign, it has a very interactive feel to it. At the end of that, that fourth mailing, you're going out and knocking on their door, right? So you're not sitting back always waiting for the FISBO to call you. You're sending some mailers, warming them up to you, and then you're taking action on it. So what I've seen with your lead gen budget is you're putting money, time, and attention at things that you guys can make an impact on rather than giving somebody money, hoping that they, you know, that the money you gave them is going to turn into business. Like, yes, you're giving money to postcards and stuff, but you guys definitely have a connection and a correlation there to, we want to make sure we're involved in the process because when we show up, that's when the magic really happens. All this money we're spending is just to, you know, create the opportunity for us to show up and build the relationship. That's exactly right. You know, there's no, there's no doubt in the, in the minds of our neighbors that we are the dominant real estate team in this area. There's yes. no doubt. Because they're seeing things from you know every two to four weeks about our successes, yep. and they're not seeing that from anyone else because we're in the neighborhood. We don't get those mailings. We don't see things from other real estate agents, and we hear all the time. I go to church now, and people I walk in the door, they go, "The real estate guy." <laughs> and that didn't take long, man. And yeah, you uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Sure. We always say that you, you literally like you're trying to survive your first year in real estate so you can start thriving in your second and third and you guys have more than survived it. And when people aren't even sending you business, but they're saying you're the real estate guy and they're calling you to, to compliment you on your big postcards like you guys are, are, are building a lot, like the building blocks that are coming here and the amount of business that's going to find you over the next year is going to be incredible. They're not, they're not all sending you business today, but like, man, that pipeline's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. The fact that they're thinking about you like that though, that, yep. that means that they will be. Yep. Last thing I want to say is you interviewed a guy and I can't remember his name, but he was similar kind of to our team. I'd love to, I'm aspiring to be him. I can't remember his name, but he had a big board in his office and you guys mentioned, you said, where'd you get that board? Which was the board that has the listings on one side and the sales on the other side. So one of the first things we invested in is we found that company. We spent, I think it was like $500. They had a, made a custom made board for us and it sits right in front of my face every single day. And I see that board about, you know, what are, what's moving? What do I have to call? What am I not doing? But I'll tell you it's one thing. Tool. When we started with that board, there wasn't anything on it. <laughs> and I kept looking at it saying, why did we buy that board? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my money back? The, the thing that controls our entire business and our entire motivation. So I'm looking at it right now. And uh, I would highly recommend making the investment in something like that, something that's very visual. I know we all use computers and our phones and everything's electronic, it's but to have that physical whiteboard yeah. sitting in front of your face kind of saying, what have you done today? Makes all the difference for me. Love it. So awesome. Guys, congratulations on your success. Thanks for sharing what you're doing. I think you helped a lot of newer agents out there and even maybe um, reinstilled some confidence in some agents that have lost a little of their confidence uh, today as well. And uh, for all of your friends and family and people in your neighborhood and surrounding city, 
Um, I hope that your phone keeps blowing up because you guys are just continuing to do great things in this newer partnership and venture that you have. And it's just incredible to watch. So Absolutely. thanks for inspiring all of us, guys. Congrats on the early success. It's awesome. Thanks Thank for having you guys. us. Thank you so much for tuning in today and joining us. For more information regarding eXp Realty, we'd like to invite you to one of our Discover the Truth of eXp Realty webinars. You can find that information at kevinandfred.com slash truth. Again, that's kevinandfred.com slash truth. Thanks so much. Create yourself a great day.